Right, I'm at the allotment today. The weather is fantastic. It's still a bit cold, but according to the weather, the weatherman, it's going to be nicer this week. So it's going warmer, got up to 16 degrees. So that means the UK is ready to plant out. Um, they don't like really hot sun because they'll bolt so I'm going to put them in um, a slightly shaded area it's not full shade but it's not full sun neither um, so I'm going to put them there so that's the next job see my allotments all dried out now so I can walk everywhere without falling I fell like the other week fell in my shed right i've put some bark down there i need to weed that corner but i'm not doing it today there's some parsnips coming up there can you see them what are they like wait all year for them and then they come up at the wrong time that looks like it's been munched there raw beans Right, so got these. We've got some pak choy, um, and I've got some curly kale, some celery, and I've got some sweet peas. That I think I'm going to put um, on the back fence down there, and then I've got some. Oh, I could put them up that. No, I put them on the back fence. Um, and then I've got um, some leeks, so I'm going to put those in today. So I know I need to decide where they're going. Hmm. Mm. Yellow, so you know the one, it's time to go when the leaves are getting a bit yellow. can hear me I've bought one of their microphone thingies and I can't get it working I've just had a mess with it now and it's a bit faffy so I'll have to take it home and have a mess with it then so um, let's get on do a bit of weeding on this there's a few little weeds and then I'm gonna put my leeks in this one so I'm not gonna um, do them too far apart I'm not really bothered about having giant leeks um, I love leeks, but when they're really big, they tend to go to waste because I'm not a big family, so I'm not really bothered. So I'm going to put them not too far apart anyway.
Stemmin. Let's have a look at what's next. I decided that I'm going to put these in the same bed as the pak choy. Um, this is celery, so I'm going to shove these in here as well. And then I'm going to put um, a little netting over it until we get going. space these open a, a bit wider because celery needs a bit of space to grow it, it's quite a big a big bushy plant again last year I grew these and they were so skinny but it rained all um, July and August, we had loads of rain July and August last year. So I don't know whether it was that, but we're alright though. this though just so they get established then I'll take the net off just need to grow on a bit I think Right, next is um, this bed. I'll put, I'm going to put those kale, that's curly kale that. So I'm going to put those in. These are uh, Brussels sprouts, so I'm going to put them in with them. Seeing as the, I have got some more at home, so I'll put them in. But um, for now, I'm just going to put these kale in here and extend that netting. Um, just so the birds don't get to it. I won't bother with a windmill on here. I'll just, until they get big enough and then I'll take it off and put a windmill in. But for now, it's going to be netted. So, on with this one.
that's curly kale. Yeah, I've spaced them quite wide apart because they do they grow up and quite bushy. Right, I'm gonna cover these now. Right next, I'm gonna do some carrots. I'm gonna put them in between the garlic because apparently the smell of carrots, no. Yeah, the smell of carrots can't be detective, detected if you've got um, onions or garlic around. So um, this, this year I'm gonna plant carrots in between the garlic, then hopefully those carrot root flies won't detect it. They must be stupid, but I bet they do. But let's give it a go anyway. Off we go! That's me, I've had enough. I've done quite a bit of planting today, so it's time for me to head off home and get some dinner on. Bye for now, see you next time. <laughs>